in this week's episode, we're going to be building a thorn wall. So in the last episode, I kind of uh, said I wanted to add on to that Zulu village uh, and uh, do uh, some kind of wall. So they, they definitely used a, a thorn wall, so a bunch of twigs or, or they used grasses and, and stuff like that. And mainly they used them to keep out uh, wildlife, uh, not necessarily to uh, keep out a, a opposing uh, military force. But they are effective uh, for people that are not able to pass through them. Um, you might be able to shoot through them, but you might not be able to pass through them. So, you know, minimizing a charge, let's say. Uh, so I wanted to add that to uh, my Zulu village. But I figured anybody could use a thorn wall for all sorts of different uh, games. Uh, and in that, I decided to build hay bales. So this is a kind of like a bonus terrain piece within this episode. Uh, I just figured it would be kind of go hand in hand in what I was already building. And I was really happy how both of these turned out. And, and really, in my mind, uh, I really wanted to build these projects out of the cheapest material I could find. I've been trying to uh, do that in this uh, in this channel. Sometimes eh, I vary a little bit. And I go off and I, I down army painters and some of the more expensive stuff. Um, but uh, a lot of the stuff that I use in this episode uh, is uh, just from Dollar Store, or Walmart, or uh, so I got some stuff from Home Depot. So just some cheap stuff that you could use uh, to build your and get really effective terrain. Really. So let's take a look at it. So this is the first piece. So I got really three sections here, uh, and this is a, a, a straight piece of thorn wall, uh, and uh, uh, everything on here, like this, this, the thorns itself is actually a Christmas decoration. I pulled off all the Christmassy components of it, uh, and I kept the thorns. You can get some really good thorns, at it. and I got that at the dollar store. Uh, and, but it has a really good source of twigs and, and stuff. Now, I have some of the uh, timbers that I used for that native fortification in the past there. I still had some of that uh, that stuff left over, that willow fencing. That I also got at the dollar store. Uh, they have crafting stones at the dollar store, so it's just cheap stuff. Uh, and instead of using the expensive uh, uh, flocking, I used uh, some moss that I found, for a, a, like a buck fifty at uh, Dollarama. And I just broke it up as thin as I possibly could. And it actually came out to be a nice flocking. I wanted to kind of have like an olive green. Uh, it worked really well for the other terrain pieces that I've been building for this uh, particular uh, battle mat. So pretty well everything in here. This is Dollar Store foam board that the, it's built on. This is a, a product of the Dollar Store right here. <laughs> uh, and I'm really happy how this turned out. So that's one section. So I, I built two of those. Uh, and then we have the main gate here. Uh, we got on here. And again, most of this stuff on here. The only thing I would say it's not from the dollar store is this gravel here is actually army painter gravel. Uh, but the sands and the other stuff I used on here in the back and stuff, that's all from the dollar store. Of course, the, uh, the timbers and everything else is awesome. So uh, I'm really happy how that thorn wall uh, turned out. And I... You know, my, the wheels are turning that I could build some other kind of uh, fortifications with that or extensions on that. Um, I, you know, I definitely kind of want to do a like a rounded one. Uh, they would have kept their cattle and, and livestock in them. But not just the uh, African villages, other villages in other areas of the world would have done something similar. So I definitely want to expand on that. Probably later down the road some other time, but... Uh, I definitely uh, I want to explore that a little further. And then this came out just, I decided, you know what? I need some hay bales. This is what they would have used for the thatched roofs on those uh, the villages. But this is kind of uh, how they had hay bales. They didn't have a baler uh, back in the past, so they would just kind of have it uh, tied up with a rope like this. So I wanted to make a few of these. I could use these for Blood and Plunder. I could use these for any games, really. I could use them in Blood and Valor. They would have had some uh, hay bales like this on some European fields or whatever. So uh, these are definitely versatile pieces. So I made three of these. Uh, and definitely I'm going to make some more of these. Uh, and this is mostly dollar store foam uh, foam board. And you got dollar store twine and uh, the flocking again. Uh, the only thing is the rope is from Home Depot, but I'm sure I could find some similar rope at the dollar store as well. Um, this is Home Depot stuff tears apart really good and uh, works good for this kind of uh, thatched roof or, or in this case, a hay bale. 
All right, so that's pretty much what we're building this episode. Uh, if you guys like what we're doing here in the Plumber Den, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the Plumber Den and get first-hand information when I start these kind of projects. All right, let's get down to the table, let's start painting, and let's start crafting. Okay, so let's look at some of the supplies I used for this project. Uh, we got some, just some hobby stones, uh, balsa wood, which I didn't actually end up using a whole lot of. Um, here's some of the willow fencing left over from that other project. Here's our Christmas decoration that I used for the, uh, uh, for the thorn walls, all those thorns on there. We got some rope, some hobby twine, uh, and here's some cheap, uh, it's like a moss, green moss from the dollar store. Buck fifty a bag, real cheap stuff. Um, some dollar store foam board. I made a kind of a U shape here. We got a couple of straight pieces. Uh, those are going to be our uh, thorn walls. And then for our hay uh, uh, bales, I got three circular ones that I cut out. I pre-primed them already with the black craft paint. Uh, and uh, so I didn't uh, have to show you that in this video. So just using some of that willow fencing, uh, I figured I'd uh, start with an entrance way on this curved piece. So I wanted to use two bigger pieces. Of course, uh, as I always use my miniature here to uh, measure out the size I want. Uh, and then I glued it on there. You can see I glued a few sticks together, similar to my docks. But I just wanted to have a little a bit of a sturdier entrance way. So then I kind of started looking for... Uh, pieces of that uh, thorn they're kind of uh, curved because I want to have a kind of a curved like archway uh, going through uh, looking at pictures of this kind of fencing in Africa uh, that's pretty much what they had they had kind of a, a, a curved pieces in the entranceway and I decided to put these little uh, bits smaller pieces all the way along where I, what I want to uh, build onto and mainly why I did that was uh, so I can have something to, to glue to essentially uh, if you're going to glue this in this entire uh, fencing area and you need somewhere to stick the uh, uh, the thorns into right so I kind of made a rough shape uh, with some fencing uh, what I'm showing you here is before I got too far along here, I decided uh, maybe I should paint this uh, with the uh, undertones that I usually use. Real brown, bark brown, and pablo to give it kind of that mud feel. Mainly because once I put all that uh, thorns in there, it's going to be a little hard to uh, uh, paint this up. Uh, so I figured I should do that in advance. Uh, before I start getting too carried away with uh, putting the thorns in. So then I started putting a front on the fence. You can see I'm going to put a little railing. Put a railing all the way around. And that gave me kind of like a, kind of looks like a stable or, uh, <laughs> but essentially a place to hold my, uh, my thorns in. And I kind of just went back and forth. So I'm still continuing to make my archway uh, as best as I can with, depending on, you know, what, what you get out of those uh, Christmas decorations that I got. Uh, and uh, I just kind of slowly added layers on. So I kind of had little chunks of video here just to show you uh, what it looks like as I'm moving along. So as you can see, I'm going now the opposite direction. So just zigzag pattern. Uh, and uh, they're kind of now resting on each other. And really all I did was add a little bit of glue to each stick and stick it in there once it dries they're all they're all gonna the more and more glue you add in they're just gonna add to it uh i just added stones on the front um and pictures i saw they had a lot of stones out front of their their fencing there so i kind of added that so then i moved on to the two straight pieces and i built them the exact same way uh i kind of made like little two pens here for uh, all my thorns i did end up putting a few posts in the center too to help support that uh, and then it kind of constructed the exact same way. You can see this is kind of an intermediate stage. Uh, you can see there's lots of glue blobbed in there. Uh, it's fine. It dries clear and uh, it just kind of holds everything together as it kind of just slips into those glue pieces. So each piece I put in there, I did add a little bit of glue to it. So I'm just showing you, I'm going to add some more stones to those as well. Uh, just to kind of complete that look. 
Now, everything on these things here are made from uh, the dollar store. Pretty well everything I got on these uh, walls are made from the dollar store. Really trying to continue on building stuff uh, with, from dollar store material. A little cheaper terrain to build. So now we're going to build those haystacks. So we're going to go back to the rope technique that I used for the thatch roof. And I'm just showing you different stages of the rope as I peeled it apart to get it to that final stage, which gives it that... Uh, uh, like a like it looks like hay, uh, and I use that hobby uh, twine or wire, uh, all that stuff I got uh, from the dollar store. The rope I did get from Home Depot, but you can get the same rope from the dollar store as well. Uh, I can just show you on there, and uh, so essentially what I did is I actually those piles I cut them in half with a pair of scissors, so I get a nice straight edge on them. Uh, and then I really just tightly binded them in the center with a little bit of white glue. And that's what hold, held them together. Uh, one, I did four per circular circle there. I mean, you, you could do whatever pattern you want, but I, I picked four. It's a nice uh, size, fit the, uh, the piece well. And I just actually glued them together. So I glued them to each other and then glued them to the base. And then afterwards, I kind of gave a little bit of a haircut afterwards. I just used some scissors and trimmed them up and made them look neat and tidy. So you can see them in the background there. I've completed all three of them. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way they look. Actually, I, I'm really happy with the, with the way they turned out. I'm definitely going to make some more of those hay bales. So going back to our my primary colors, uh, real brown, bark brown, pablo. Uh, I'm going to hit some of those stones. Normally, I would paint these black, uh, but I decided to, in this piece, I'm just going to add those uh, undertones on over top of the stones. You'll have different colors because the stones are different colors. Uh, it seems kind of crazy that we're painting stones to look like stones. <laughs> but when, hobby stones don't really look like you would see stones in, in real life, so they have all sorts of different uh, uh, colors. So we, we want to kind of make everything look uniformed. So once I added all those colors on, then I went to a camel, uh, desert yellow, uh, skeleton bone, and mummy robe. Now, again, I didn't add necrotic flesh, which is a green color, uh, because I didn't want to add as much plant life to this. It's more uh, an arid, dry climate, so kind of just sticking to some of those uh, beiges. Um, and uh, I'm going to hit all the stones, and I do hit some of the... Uh, I already start, start painting some of this on the actual thorns themselves because I want to lighten that up a little bit. I don't want them to be so dark brown and ready color that they are right now uh, that I just cut right off the Christmas decoration. I kind of wanted to give them a dried out look. So I do I start adding a little bit of all these colors and, and just strategically all over the place. I don't really uh, uh, go crazy and cover the whole thing, just kind of a little bit on everything. And uh, so I'm just kind of briefly showing you the stones. You can see I've added a little bit more paint on some and light on some others. And that's kind of just do it random all the way through there. So this is after you can see I've covered all those colors uh, on the stones and I've hit some of the thorns as well with all those. Now I'm going to move to necrotic, uh, sorry, necromancer cloak and ash gray. Uh, and uh, we're going to hit more of those thorns. That's kind of my... Uh, Colors I use for aged wood. And then for these hay bales, I'm going to use uh, Agrax, Earthshader, and uh, Skeleton Horde. So I put the Skeleton Horde on the bindings. I just painted it right on the bindings. And then I used, uh, to highlight uh, kind of a dirty grunge around it, I added that uh, Agrax, uh, Earthshader, uh, just around the bindings on those hay bales. It really uh, brightened it up. So I'm going to use this uh, cheap moss. Now, uh, all I did was get a little container, uh, and I just broke it down. I used my hand. You, I, you, I was thinking about putting it in a container with rocks. Whatever you need to do to break it down to make it a little bit smoother. Uh, then I've got some Battlefield uh, Brown. So that's the uh, army, army Painter stuff that I, you know, I use, except for some, a little bit of the paint. And I tried to stay, like I said, to the dollar store uh, material. So I plan on doing all uh, that uh, flocking that I'm making out of that moss. Uh, around all these and a little bit of uh, gravel and sand uh, and that's really kind of what I'm going to base it in not too complicated I didn't add a lot of extras I did end up adding a couple of tufts to the uh, to the uh, hay bales but not much all right so let's take one pass through here and look at everything all completed so these are actually fairly uh, simple to create 
Uh, but I think they're very effective pieces of terrain and they're really added to my Zulu village here. Uh, but you could use these thorn walls for all sorts of different uh, battlements. I was thinking maybe making uh, down the road some kind of Viking village or something like that uh, using uh, similar techniques would be uh, really cool. Uh, but uh, this is definitely a proof of concept and uh, it uh, worked really well. Really happy with it. So that's pretty much uh, a wrap on this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, project. Thank you so much uh, for watching and I will see you in the next one.